everyone, thanks for joining us today. I'm Community Relations Multimedia Specialist Carly Uthi, joined today by Superintendent Dr. Brian Maher. Hello. Well, hello, Carly. And it it's great to have you here. I miss Thank Deanne, but yes. great to have you here. <laughs> it's great to be here. I'm excited yes. to talk about fall enrollment numbers with you. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that we're already a couple months into school? Oh, yeah. For November. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So we ended, fall, or we got fall enrollment numbers the last Friday in September, September 28th. We ended on 23,990 students enrolled in K through 12, which is right. just crazy. It's about a 0.6% increase from last year, I right. believe. Yep. So can you tell me um, how how do these enrollment numbers, how do they match up to what we've kind of been predicting? Mm, yeah, it's a, that's a great question. Almost identical. I'll give uh, Todd Veek and the folks who make that projection all sorts of credit. And you know, one of the things, Carly, about that projection, it's really important for us as a district. Having just gone through the bond, you know, people have seen how do you, what are the projections? How do you make those projections? But we make those every year because our financing really is predicated on what our numbers are. So we've got that down to a pretty good science. This year, Todd Veek and his folks were within five That's of the crazy. actual number. It doesn't happen that way every year, but that was an excellent prediction for this year. Absolutely. What is that process? Do you, how, how do you predict yeah. those? It's uh, in its simplest form, it is the Minnehaha County birth rate times a, a floating factor, and that factor floats based on how accurate our projections are. So really the, the base number that we go from is that Minnehaha County birth rate number. And people might say, well, there's a lot of kids who are born in Minnehaha County who don't go to the Sioux Falls School District. And I would say, you're exactly right. There is also a lot of kids in the Sioux Falls School District who weren't born in Minnehaha County. That's what that factor takes into account. So. Sure. It's an algorithm that we look at every year to to make that projection, and we're uh, we've got it down to a to a fairly exact science, not quite an exact science. Mm -hmm. Todd Veek gets all the credit for that. It's he pretty does. incredible that he, he can does. do things like that. So, how does enrollment numbers this year compare to past years? Yeah, I would say we saw a modest increase. Mm -hmm. um, usually, uh, I tell people we grow between 200 and 500 students annually. This year we grew a little less than that. Um, and part of that is our, our elementary numbers were down a little bit. We had predicted that. And if you would go back and look at the information we gave the task force back last spring, we, we told them that would happen. That'll most likely happen again next year. And then the next few years after that, we'll, we'll see that increase again. So the, the predictions really are holding true to what we thought they would be. And when you say that might happen again next year, do you mean in the elementary level again? Yes, or, okay. at, at the elementary level. I would suspect that uh, our middle school numbers and our high school numbers will continue right. to ratchet up just like we had predicted. Absolutely. So what do you think the enrollment numbers this year say for the prediction of the next couple of years? So how does that play a role into, obviously we've got new facilities coming, mm -hmm. and what do you think the future enrollment looks like for the Sioux Falls School District? Well, I think we're right on, right on what we predicted. Actually, we're yeah. just a slightly under yeah. what we predicted. And if you remember, one of the things we said that five years from now, we think we'll have about a thousand more students than we had last school year. I think we're right on pace for that to happen. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm excited for to, what's, to see what's to come with all all of the new students coming in and the new facilities and just some of those new opportunities that we are going to be able to provide the community of yeah. Sioux Falls. So. You're, I think you're exactly right. It's it's a it's a challenge, but it's a great challenge. It's a yes. it's a challenge due to growth, not a challenge due to we're shrinking up and getting smaller. Absolutely. So it, it's a uh, it's it's exciting, and the neat thing is, while well, it take a little while to get those buildings done, we've planned for that growth. Mm -hmm. We've we've seen that coming, and and uh, we'll be ready for it. Exactly. I think it's important to note that these new facilities and some of the updates and things like that that are coming from this bond are not just just going to benefit us for the ne in the next couple of years, but really for a long, long time to come. In fact, it'll be a couple of years before they do better. Exactly, us. yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we really predicted for the future. So, right. yes. Well, I'm excited. Like I said, I'm excited to see um, what the future of the Sioux Falls School District has for enrollment numbers and things like that. But if you're interested in actually seeing these numbers, you can visit our website, um, sf.k12.sd.us. Thanks for joining us.